If you want your indoor plants to look like this, but they look a little bit more like that, then listen up because here is six ways that you could be killing your indoor plants. Most of us kill our indoor plants with love and overwatering is the biggest killer. So if your house plants are sulking, don't always assume that they're thirsty. I always poke my finger into the soil first to see if it's dry before getting out the watering can. Cover pots like this are designed for showing off your indoor plants. Now they don't have a drainage hole in the bottom, which means there's no risk of them ruining your indoor surfaces, but it also means that they don't drain. So it's important not to plant directly into a cover pot, but rather just get your plastic pot and plonk it straight in. If you're not happy with the look, you can always pot it up into a bigger plastic pot so it fits more snugly. Always take the plastic pot out of the cover pot first before you water it, because you don't want the plant to sit in a pool of water. Let it drain in the sink or outside and then pop it back into the pot. Indoor plants are often subject to temperature extremes, so make it easier on them by positioning them away from vents and blasts of cold and warm air. Also give your house plants a regular wipe down with a moist cloth to prevent an accumulation of dust on the leaves. To give them a thorough clean, pop them in the shower every month or so to remove any build up and make them look shiny and healthy. Now, indoor pest and disease problems are much easier to treat if you spot them early. That's why I'm a big fan of talking to my plants. That way you notice those problems early and you get on top of them quickly. Hmm. Now, what's wrong with you, little man? If your house plants are in desperate need of a bit of TLC, get your hands on a bottle of sea salt foliar spray. It's the perfect pick-me-up for your indoor jungle, so it helps to promote strong, healthy growth and reduce the stresses of indoor living.